How's it going, Reef Keepers? Hope everybody is uh, having a good couple days here before 4th of July. I wanted to put out a video today uh, just kind of loosely talking about EcoFlow and kind of comparing uh, just casually the two different types of EcoFlow that I now own. The base unit, uh, River 2, and also the River 2 Max. If you followed my channel for any length of time, you'll have seen undoubtedly me go through backup battery stuff, uh, emergency disaster mitigation stuff, e-power plans, what have you. And I know that a lot of people do find it boring. However, every time I put out videos on this stuff, I have new individuals like, oh my gosh, thank you for putting this out. You know, I just got one and it's so great. Like I'm so, I have such more, so much more peace of mind and hobby and blah, blah, blah. And like just the fact that I mean, if one person finds some solace because I recommended this or showed them, you know, how simple it is to use or whatever, it's worth it for me. So, you know, those of you who've seen me go over this and know that I really harp on it, I appreciate your patience. But I'm going to go through these units kind of just, just, again, casually for people who don't have them or might be interested in them. So um, let's take a look at them. So the EcoFlow... Uh, River 2 line is a lithium iron phosphate battery line and really it's they I mean they I believe they call it a power station and that is kind of what it is it's a complete plug and play option so it's not you know some kind of janky lead acid battery pack that you need you know four different kinds of you know plugins to make it work with a certain kind of device or you know something like that this is far from it. And that's the reason why I'm so invested in it personally is because I'm not an electrical guy, right? Electrical um, finagling makes me nervous. I don't like messing with that stuff. I don't trust myself to not shock myself or catch my house on fire or whatnot. So something that is an, a totally encapsulated solution is exactly what I needed. Let me plug it in and let it work, right? And give me some, and by the way, give me some cool features along the way. Cause I am a nerd for consumer technology. I just want it to not be highly intimidating. And these units are not at all intimidating. So um, you can see that on these units, you have a ton of different options for uh, just plugging things into them. So. Uh, contrary to the misinformation put out by Reef Dudes in uh, a recent video that he put out, they do have DC hookups, right? Every single entry in the River 2 lineup has a DC hookup. Also, as you can see, plenty of AC hookups. Also, traditional USB charging opportunities. And finally, they threw in USB-C charging, right? Which is really nice. Um, these units can be charged either from a port on the back. Let me turn this one around so that you can see. So they have a traditional port where you can just plug this into the wall in the back. Um, however, the USB-C point also serves as a way that you can charge the unit itself. So you can charge a device from the unit via USB-C, but you can also just use whatever USB-C cord you have laying around, plug it into your unit and charge it up, which is really cool. Uh, also, you notice this little yellow guy here. This is for solar. So I own a couple of EcoFlow uh, solar panels, and I'm really looking forward to figuring out how to get those installed. I need to get some advising on those. They're rigid solar panels that should probably be on the roof, unless I can figure out some kind of unique way to rig them up. Um, but yeah, you can connect these to solar and allow solar to intelligently charge them when solar is available, right? pretty cool um let's take a look at the sizing here so you know what yeah let me go through the sizing then i'll go through the pricing 256 watt hours for the so for the base unit for the max it is uh 512 and there's also a pro version that is 768 watt hours right and obviously the pro version has even more hookups on the front of it than the max unit does. Now on eBay certified refurbished, right? Uh, these go for right now during the 4th of July sale, $119 shipped, $299 shipped. The pro version 
for $319 shipped, you get the jump from 512 watt hours to uh, 768 watt hours for $20 more. So if you're going certified refurbished, I got mine new. If you're going certified refurbished and you're going for anything larger than the base unit, uh, I would definitely recommend going with the Pro, right? For $20 more, just spring for the Pro unit because that's a tremendous amount of capacity for a very small bump in price, right? Also worth noting, because they are lithium iron phosphate and not lead acid, right? Lead acid is what like Ecotech uses in their Ecotech Marine backup battery. And in a couple of years, you are going to precipitously drop off in capacity in one of those. Lead acid is a bad solution. It is not a modern battery backup solution that certainly not that is worth the money that Ecotech wants to charge for those units, which are $215 a pop. You need to be going with lithium iron phosphate. Um, absolutely. Because you're going to get eight to 10 years with regular cycling before you start to see any kind of significant degradation on the battery capacity, which is astounding, right? I mean, that's what, when you dropped, you know, 100, 200, 300 plus dollars, depending on the size of the unit you get, you want that thing to last and not need to replace it in two years, three years. You want to replace that thing in like 10 years. That's what this is going to give you. You can get like a decade of reliability out of these, which is absolutely massive, right? So I'll give you like a real world example, by the way, of the difference in capacity. So as I mentioned previously, 256 watt hours, 512. I was using this as my, my primary backup unit for this main tank right here. Okay. I had a five watt tunes wave maker plugged into it just to keep water moving in the display tank. It could run that for 14 hours, I believe, maybe 15, 16, 14, 15, 16, somewhere in there, which is good, right? I mean, you're going to get water flow on your corals in your main display for a while. However, I really wanted to keep the return pump moving. That's what I really wanted to keep moving. Had I plugged the return pump into this unit right here, into the base unit, I, it probably would have only lasted five or six hours, which by the way, is way better than nothing. However, I was like, if I want to do this and feel comfortable and get 12 plus hours, more than half a day battery life out of my return pump, I'm going to have to size up. That's why I went with the max unit the last time I saw it on sale. And now I get running that return pump at a 25 watt draw. I get uh, between 14 and 15 hours of battery life out of a 25 watt draw return pump. That's what's going on right here, right now. It's, it's that plug. It goes to the return pump. That to me is peace of mind. That rep anything 12, 12 hours and over, I mean, that's a lot of time for a power company to respond to an event that has knocked out power that's within reason. I mean, if you just experienced a hurricane or something, you know, horrible natural disaster, you have bigger concerns. You need to find a generator. But if it's run-of-the-mill stuff, like somebody knocked over a telephone pole because they were texting and driving or whatever, you know you're going to be covered pretty much every time this way. So to me... Uh, that's what people should shoot for. And to me, most reefers who are not like hyper advanced reefers with 200, 250, 300, 400 gallon tanks, people with tanks that are like a hundred gallons and under like this right here, right. But are still looking to move to the next level of peace of mind with their system. Something like the max totally a justified more than justified and wise purchase right and it is again a complete plug and play package which is fantastic anybody who's running you know i guess 10 watts or under worth of like backup equipment and you know possibly has a smaller tank um you know 50 gallons or under the base unit's going to be fantastic and i think that probably comprises the majority of reefers. I think probably the majority of reefers have like a 50 gallon or under tank. There are not that many people who want to size way, way up from there um, for sure. But by the way, 
even just running one five watt wave maker like I was, you're going to get over 12 hours with that base unit and the certified refurbished pricing from the official eBay store is just fantastic. Now, if you wanted to get them new, by the way, they're still doing a 4th of July sale. I think this one's $168 and this is, uh, what was it? Uh, $399 and then I think there's a coupon you can add on top of it. So I should have looked at the pricing closer for the max, but I know it's $168 for the, um, for the base unit. So also feature wise, how about a display screen? Again, way better than what Ecotech Marine is going to offer you with their backup solution. Also, how about the app? Check that out. So it's going to display all your units that are connected. They connect over Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, so you can check them if your power goes out and you're not at home. And when you go into these things, you can select even, you know, how these things show up and look. Take a look at this. So this will show you power coming in, power going out, right? Via what type of power you're sending this stuff out, whether it's coming in from solar or from the wall, okay? Then you can go ahead and set everything from charging speeds to various input types to do you want to have like a crazy you know boost in case you want to plug in a mini fridge or something you know or some kind of powerful fan unit or you can have a you can set a timeout on ac if you want to you can you know set your screen timeouts download firmware to make the thing more efficient i haven't even explored all the settings on it yet but again stuff that is not even on the radar of the reef industry you can hop into an app on your phone not even be in your house and you can hop into an app and monitor things change things update things that's a piece of modern technology that for the price absolutely beats the pants off of anything that the reef industry is trying to hawk to you with the reef tax slapped on top of it it makes the lead acid ecotech marine backup battery look like a total joker for $215, no intelligent connectivity about any of it. It degrades in, you know, two to three years, you're needing a new one. It's just some big heavy metal box with a wheelchair battery in it. I mean, it's just not, it's not worth the money, right? Not at all. So uh, I highly, highly recommend the EcoFlow River 2 line to anyone. Remember that they come in different sizes. Um, EcoFlow has a whole bunch of different products for battery backup and disaster mitigation, but the River 2 line is solid. It's LFP. That's what you want. And also, uh, don't forget, if you hear misinformation out there, like from Reef Dudes about, oh, they don't, you know, it doesn't have DC. You have to convert from AC to DC. Look this stuff up on your own because it's not true. DC hookup, DC hookup, AC hookups. USB-A, USB-C, screens, I could go on. Uh, I highly recommend this line to the vast majority of reef keepers. Anyone who's not like tremendously advanced level, of course, everyone has their own set of priorities and there are different solutions for everyone. You know, it's not to take away from other solutions that are totally viable, but this is gonna be a good option for a vast majority of people out there in the reef keeping hobby. Feel free to ask questions, guys. I'm always available to answer them. Have a good one.